Welcome back to Trends and Friends. It is Wellness Wednesday with Dr. Martin Binks from Texas Tech's Nutrition and Metabolic Health Initiative. And if you're out there trying to lose some weight, now's a good time to listen. And this is a great topic today. Dr. Binks, thanks so much for being here. Always a pleasure. You know, we're eight days in. Some of us may have set some goals that may have been a little bit out of our reach, and we might be finding out that right now. So you're here, right, to give us a little motivation to keep us going. Um, how do we take a step back and make sure that the goals that we've set are reasonable and achievable? It's really about starting where you are mm -hmm. and figuring out how to do a, a one point improvement in your health plan is okay. the way that I talk about it. So, you know, it, rather than setting some goal about how much weight you're going to lose, talk about the things that lead to weight loss as an example. Maybe it's eliminating one food that you think you struggle most with okay or portion <laughs> controlling a certain uh, in in a certain way and, and picking all the individual things that will eventually add up to mm -hmm. a, a reasonable weight loss okay i like that idea my husband and i decided to go sober in january now i'm a week late because i didn't think about doing it on the first but it's okay to still do that maybe do it for a month or find some vice that you might have and just lay off of it for a little bit is that okay? I think the, um, the idea <laughs> of 12-step programs, not that I'm implying <laughs> no. anything. But no, we're going <coughs> in a different the, direction. The, <laughs> with everything I do in behavior change, the idea of one day at a time is a wonderful thing. And, and for certain harder to change things, it's one hour at a time or minute mm -hmm. at a time. So rather than thinking about whatever you're planning to do forever, if it's just the fact that you, you want to take a break from some habit that you've yeah. had going, just think about breaking it into small time periods okay. and then at the end of that remake the decision makes a good point I know I'm just sitting here thinking but I've got a couple of events coming up this January am I gonna be able to withstand that I think that might be a question for a lot of people if you do mess up you have a bad day you have a cheat day so to speak uh, what do you recommend in terms of getting back on board? Well, all the words that you just used mm -hmm. are the ones that we recommend against because they all sound like <laughs> you, Don't you, use were, those. you were bad, right? <laughs> um, you know, I, I call them, I, I was taught a long time ago to call the days that you kind of take a break from your best version of your plan, uh -huh. planned holidays. Oh, okay. And I like that. It I like was, the positive uh, spin. Yeah, and, and uh, really I think the idea is that Eating, exercise, health, all the health behavior, mm -hmm. it's a continuum. It's not an on-off switch. So in a way, deciding to reduce overall the course of a month how much uh, alcohol you consume or whatever it is that you're trying to change mm -hmm. is maybe a better target than all or nothing. Okay. But sometimes all or nothing works for folks. I like it. Always good advice. You have an open house coming up. Let's give them those quick details, but we're going to share more about it coming up tomorrow on the show. Uh, it's happening January 16th. Yes, the uh, Texas Tech University president's going to be there and a number of other important folks, and it's open to the public. Uh, we'd love you to come by. We've got two hours that you'll be able to talk to me, talk to all of our staff there, the other clinicians, and uh, just. Uh, and we're also doing some f blood pressure screenings and whatnot. So. Always good to know your numbers, right? Yep. They can take care of that there. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. All right, coming up, we'll check in with Mariel Morgan from Dillard's. Stay with us.